Samana na mzanze, tobala mzanze, dumala mzanze, bon dia. Africa the soul and welcome to Triple M. Make Monday matter with King and me. My name is William Zulu Moises, I'm Zulu cause I'm Nandi Ukulumizu. Lord, I'm pumped up, I'm excited, I'm expecting for your life and for your future. I'm expecting for who you are going to become on this earth. I'm excited for you. Last week I told you that you can, that you can. This week I'm coming to tell you that you are stronger, listen to me, that you are stronger than what you are busy facing. Ah, you are stronger than that pain which you are going through. You are stronger than that hurt that you are going through, that you are facing today. You are bigger than that giant that is standing in front of you. You are bigger than that giant that is standing in front of you. That giant that you are scared of, listen. That giant that you are scared of, you are bigger than it. You are bigger than it. Don't you dare quit. Don't you dare give up. Just because they left, don't quit. Just because no one believes in what is inside of you, don't give up. Do not grow weary in doing good. In due season, you will reap the harvest if you do not give up. You need to become all who you have been called and chosen to be on this earth. What you carry is valuable. What you carry on the inside of you is a treasure. Right there on the inside of you, you've got every single thing that you're ever going to need. Don't you dare give up. I know it's tough. I know it's hard. I know you're crying yourself to sleep at night, but you're gonna be okay. Don't give up because your emotions and your body's telling you to quit. Keep on going. Whether you are a sportsman, keep on going. Whether you are a businessman or woman, keep on going. Going. Whether you are a student, study harder, study harder, apply yourself more each and every single day. Don't give up on what you have been called to do on this earth. I want to give you a bit of a history lesson this morning, but before I do that, I'm coming off to your mindset today. I'm coming off to those strongholds in your mind that's telling you to give up, that's telling you to let go, that's telling you it's not worth it anymore. I'm telling you, it is worth it in the end. It will be worth it. In the end, you just need to keep on going each and every single day. You need to put those emotions and those feelings aside just for a couple of days and push through and push through. You've come way too far now to give up. You've come way too far to quit. Apply yourself each and every single day. Be intentional with your thoughts. Listen, be intentional with your thoughts. As soon as a negative thought pops up in your mind, you make sure right there and then you pull it down and you put a positive thought in place. You rejoice. You go back to that victory that you had last week or last month and you rejoice on it until the next one comes because your reality is, your identity is, and your truth is that you are a victor, that you are a victor. Do not become a victim. You are not a victim. You are a victor. Now, this morning, I want to come and share a, a bit of a history lesson with you beautiful people and that is that of the story of Florence Chadwick. In 1952, she attempted to swim a distance between the California Catalina Islands and the shore coastline, about a 26 mile journey. Now she was a champion swimmer. She was a champion swimmer, just like you. You are a champion, listen, you are a champion, regardless of what you are going through, regardless of what you have gone through, regardless of what school you went to, or that environment that you grew up in, you are a champion. You are a champion. She was inspired, she was motivated, she was excited and fired up and pumped up to go after that thing that she felt that she needed to go after. So there she goes, stroking away, stroke after stroke, second after second, minute after minute, hour after hour. However, by the 15th hour, by the 15th hour, a thick fog came and enveloped and surrounded the environment where she was swimming and all she could see was the fog. All she could see was the fog. About an hour later, her being physically and emotionally drained, exhausted and wearied, she decided to give up. She decided to give up. So the lifeboats which accompanied her lifted up, or the lifeguard in the lifeboat lifted her up into the boat and 
she found out that she was a mile away from the shoreline. She was that close to finishing, but she gave up. She was that close to the shoreline, but she gave up. Now, I don't know who I'm talking to, but I want to come and tell you today, do not give up. You are that close to finishing. You are that close to achieving that goal. You are that close to going to a whole nother level in your life. Don't you dare give up now. I'm going to need you to keep on swimming each and every single day. Even if all you can see right now is the fog. Even though you're hurting. Even though you're in pain. Even though they betrayed and left you and said and spread rumors about you. I'm going to need you to keep on going each and every single day. When the reporters asked her the next day about her journey, about the swim, she answered and said, and I'm just paraphrasing, she said that if she could have seen the end, she might have been able to finish. She might have been able to finish. So a couple of months later, when she attempted the swim again, to swim the distance, the 26 mile distance, when she went after it again, she had a mental picture, you're not hearing what I'm saying, she had a mental picture of the finish line, she had a mental picture of the finish line, of the shoreline, of where she was going towards. Because what happened on the second attempt, the fog came again. Uh, the fog came again. Because in life, regardless of, of you know if you're moving forward or if you're staying in a place of comfort, the storms will come. Hardships will come. Bad times will come. It's a part of life. Struggles, storms, trials, tribulations, they're all a part of life. But the key to it is, is to have a vision for your life. Is to have a vision. So I encourage you, write that vision down because the fog will come. But when the fog comes, you need to go back to your vision board and see that vision and focus on what you know you feel in your heart that you have been called to do on this earth. And you need to keep on swimming. When the fog comes, keep on swimming, keep on pushing through. Make sure that you envision that finish line. You envision achieving that goal and becoming whom you've been called to be on this earth. That it be for your family, that it be for your you know, finances, spiritually, emotionally, physically. You need to see the end. You need to see the end. You need to see the end. So write the vision down. which That will then enable you to keep on running every single day, regardless of the fog, regardless of the hurt and the pain. Because the truth and the fact fact of the matter is that you are bigger than what you are going through. You are bigger, greater and stronger than what you are going through. And that giant will come down, but you need to keep on going each and every single day. This is Make Monday Matter with King and Me. Like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, do what you gotta do. And just know that you are bigger, stronger and greater than that storm and that giant that is standing right there in front of you. You are amazing. Your life has purpose, your life has destiny, your life has meaning and you are significant. And you are loved. Know that I love you so, so much. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bruh. Boom.